Yeah, but yeah, I asked them. I said, uh, um, uh, uh, they believe that they're they don't they don't think they don't believe they're going to heaven, but they they believe they're of the great multitude, the great crowd that's going to make it through the tribulation. I said, yeah, but in the in the Revelation it says they they washed their robes and made them white in the blood of the Lamb. That shows that they had faith and that they are applying that sacrifice to themselves. They have faith in that sacrifice. Now, if you don't take of the blood and the uh, and the the body of Christ, if you reject His sacrifice, how are you forgiven? Well, they're not forgiven. They told me that I asked them, doesn't it bother your conscience at all that you reject those blood and the wine? They say, no, not at all. I said, okay, then your sins aren't forgiven. You see, because if your sins were forgiven by the faith in Jesus Christ, you couldn't deny that. You couldn't deny that blood and the wine. That's your life. That's the Antichrist that denies that Jesus is the Christ. Who would deny that? You know. But they're fine. That's as deep as they want to go. And they're and they're 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 marrying and giving in marriage, they're buying and selling, they're doing all everything everyone else is that they feel very comfortable in this world. They're not in a on a heightened sense of alert whatsoever. And their heightened sense of alert was about that they think Jesus returned in nineteen fourteen. So they don't have oil in their lamps, you know. And um the virgins, the virgins that don't have oil in their lamps, they, they realize that, wow, my lamps are, my lamp is empty. There's no oil in there. How am I going to get that? And uh, they might go to the real virgins and say, can you give us some? You know, can you give us some of the spirit of God? Because we, we don't, we don't have any. And they tell them, you have to go to, to Jesus Christ for that. To those that buy, to those that sell it, buy for yourselves. Go to Jesus Christ. He's the one. He's the giver of the spirit of God. God is, you know, through His Son, and um, and they went out, you know, to buy it, and um, uh, when they came back, the door was shut. It says those who are ready, in verse ten, verse twenty-five, verse ten. It says they were that were ready went in with him into the marriage, and the door was shut. And afterward came also the other virgins, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But the answer is saying, I don't know you. Watch you, therefore, he says, and know, because you don't know the day of the hour wherein the Son of Man comes. So you got to watch. With the Internet, there's so many things that are being exposed and are being brought out. And, uh, and history is unfolding right before our very eyes. The end times are approaching so closely, right before our eyes. It's all spelled out. The Jade Helm was doing exercises to extract dissidents, to bring them into camps. Do you see these things? No. These people that, that I'm speaking of, they don't see it. They don't know anything about it. I'm trying to. Sh I tried to share. I said, please look on the internet up about this. Look up about Bohemian Grove. You know that's why Alex Jones is a great blessing to the peoples of the earth, not because he's fully Christian or you know uh, he takes he think talks a lot about guns and everything. We don't. Our warfare isn't fleshly, you know, but he has alerted. He help has uh, helped people wake up to what's going on. It's not just him. If it wasn't him, somebody else would have done it. But he's taken that place. Whether he's, uh, um, you know, I can't. I, I'm not going to judge him. You know, because uh, he says a lot of good things. Is he just lying? Just pretending? I don't know. There's a lot of con artists, man. People are, go to great lengths to be great con artists. But hey, I just don't know. I get suspicious about some some things. You know. Like about him not mourning when he knows that uh, how many people have been killed on his radio show. He talks about it just like a. I know I had this person on. They're dead, and they had this person on. They're dead. What's my point? Is that you don't take this broadcast for, for granted. Yeah, I don't know. No sorrow about that. No hurting of the heart. No empathy. No worry that you might have something to do with that. Being on your radio show. It was one guy who said, don't tell me off air. I want you to say it on air, you know. 
you know, one guy the other week is saying, hey, Alex, you, you, are you trying to get me killed? I said, I thought you were my friend, you know. Just joking, but it seems like that. You mean, you might, you might say it like that, you know. <sighs> you got to be wise as a serpent and harmless as a dove. Okay, so anyway, uh, the, the things that have, he did sneak into Bohemian Grove and take those pictures, and those things are valuable to unveil, to reveal what's going on in this world, who they worship. They worship Satan. You know, so those things are of value and to watch and to pay attention to what's going on because those men don't want everything exposed. That's why they're working hard before these dummies. You know, that, that, that believe not in the word of God before they wake up more. They're working, because, but it's all out there. But they just have no interest in it because they love the slumber. And there's a place in the Bible that says they will sleep everlasting slumber. Everlasting sleep. That means the second death. Those that love to slumber. Don't have any indignation. They took pleasure in wickedness. That's what it says, and that's why they went to believe in the lie, because they took pleasure in unrighteousness and didn't took pleasure in, didn't take pleasure in the truth. Yeah, so there are some that are Christian that are asleep. They're not allowed freedom of uh, thought. This group that is Jehovah's Witnesses, they call themselves Jehovah's Witnesses, they're not allowed to read any other literature. They're discouraged from going on the internet. You know, they tell them to stay awake, but they have their magazine awake. Take a look, read in there. It talks about little stories about flowers and the life of bugs and uh, kind of like a National Geographic most of and then stories about their little uh, group and this guy, you know, preached over here and this. But the thing is, that that's okay. But the thing is, is that... Um, See, they have things like, uh, tell the devil to go away. What, what they say the devil is, is anybody that tries to, to teach them something from the Bible that they're not teaching them. Or teach them something uh, uh, new. You know, they, they, that's the, those are the apostates, you know, that don't bow down to the watchtower. And they're keeping them, everybody asleep. Go to their web, they have a website, jw.org, and you can put, they have a search engine there. Search, search for Illuminati, Bohemian Grove, Freemasonry. They don't mention a word about it. You think it's because they don't know? Well, they did. They were signed up as an, uh, uh, a UN uh, non-governmental agency, organization, NGO. And in some of their articles, they would talk about the UN and, you know, uh, the good things that they've done. They had, they were supposed, they had one of the requirements that they had, they had to promote the UN, you know. So, um, I'd love to, I love to wake up these people. I try to, because I care about them, and they have the Bible, and they stand on the street corners, or in the middle of the park, or whatever, and, um, they're there to, to witness to. That's why God has put them out there. We're to witness to them. So don't be bashful. Let them know. They don't know about the New World Order. Everybody, let them know. Let them know. Let them have a chance so they can flee. So they can, they can actually become part of that great multitude that comes through the Great Tribulation and puts faith in the words of Jesus Christ. Okay? Let them be part of that. And who are those that, who are those, that great multitude? Let's read, read in uh, chapter 25, verse 31. When the Son of Man shall come in his glory, and all the holy angels with him, then shall he sit upon the throne of his glory. And before him shall all, be gathered all nations. See, when, he, when that kingdom is born in heaven, and the heavens are cleaned out, all nations are at his foot, feet, at his footstool. And they're all gathered before him, and he shall separate them one from another, as the shepherd divides the sheep from the goats. And he shall set the sheep on his right hand, but the goats on the left. Then shall the king say unto them on his right hand, Come, ye blessed of my father, inherit the kingdom prepared for you 
from the foundation of the world, from Genesis, when that first sin, when that serpent got the uh, Adam and Eve to sin, God's been preparing this kingdom from the very foundation of the world. For I was in hunger, and you gave me meat. I was thirsty, and you gave me drink. I was a stranger, and you took me in. Naked, and you clothed me. I was sick, and you visited me. I was in prison, and you came unto me. What does that mean? Then shall the righteous answer, saying, Lord, when saw we thee in hunger, and fed thee, or thirsty, and gave thee drink? When saw we thee a stranger, and took thee in, or naked, and clothed thee? Or when saw we thee sick, or in prison, and came to thee? And the king shall answer and say unto them, Truly, or verily I say unto you, Inasmuch as you have done it unto one of the least of these, my brethren, the real Christians, you have done it unto me. So remember we read in Revelation, the 12th chapter, it says how the, the, the serpent cast out out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. All that propaganda, hateful antichrist propaganda that wants to destroy the, the dissidents, the true disciples of Jesus Christ. And the earth helped the woman, and the earth opened her mouth and swallowed up the flood that the dragon cast out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth, and went war to make war with the remnant of her seed, which keep the commandments of God and the testimony of Jesus Christ. Okay. But the earth helped the woman, swallowed up the waters. That's what this is speaking of. When was I hungry? That you did it unto the least of these my brothers, man. They were persecuted. They were fleeing for their lives. And you helped them. You're my ones, you know. If you give a cup of cold water to one of my disciples, it will not be forgotten. You know, a, a righteous man will get a righteous man's reward, you know. So that's, but there are persecutors that want to kill the disciples of Jesus Christ. You know, and we go on, we read more. Um, and then the king will answer and say to them, very last thing, okay, yeah. Then he shall say unto them on the left hand, depart from me, ye cursed, into everlasting fire, prepared for the devil and his angels. For I was hungry, and you gave me no meat. I was thirsty, you gave me no drink. I was a stranger, and you took me not in. Naked, and you clothed me not. Sick, and in prison, and you visited me not. Then shall they say and answer him, Lord, when saw we thee and hungered? or thirst, or stranger, and naked, and sick, or in prison, and we did not minister unto thee. And then he shall say unto them, Very last say unto them, Inasmuch as ye did it not unto one of the least of these, ye did it not unto me. And ye shall go away into everlasting punishment. That's the second death. They're the goats. Remember it says that in Thessalonians, those that trouble you, God will... Uh, suffer eternal destruction when he rises with his angels. See? All the Bible's connected. It's all true. That's, I believe, in, in um, Second Thessalonians, the first part of it. Let me find it. Just so we make sure you got the right place where you can turn to it. Uh, all right. Um... Second Thessalonians. Oh yeah, seeing it is right in verse first chapter. Verse seven. Do you who are troubled rest with us when the Lord Jesus Christ shall be revealed from heaven? That's what we've been speaking about. With his mighty angels and flaming fire, taking vengeance on them that know not God and that obey not the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ, who shall be punished with everlasting destruction from the presence of the Lord and from the glory of his power. Those are the goats. You see, that's the separation. Those that won't help the seed of God's women and that, that uh, are punished everlastingly because they don't obey. They obey the beast and they take the mark. Eternal destruction awaits them.